You're watching Fox 17 News. The VHS revival is in full swing, at least that's according to the owner of Spin City in Muskegon. He told me over the last four and a half years, the popularity of physical media has spiked. I've had people travel really far specifically just for the VHS. It used to be a common destination, the video store. So I remember the blockbusters and family videos in Hollywoods. Packed with new releases, kids classic, and the occasional obscure title, they were excitement personified on a Friday night. There's just a magic to it. You could find VHS tapes everywhere. And then in the early 2000s, the industry started moving away from analog. I was born in 96, so I grew up like right at like the very like as the transition was happening. Harrison Lang opened Spin City Static Tape inside Muskegon's Lakes Mall about four and a half years ago. Of course, got a lot of uh, flack for, you know, from friends and family being like, well, there's Netflix, there's this, there's more streaming services coming. Despite the pushback around him, Harrison felt there was an underserved population that wanted to harken back to an age of physical media. COVID really ramped up just collecting in general, though, and that was the thing I no one could predict. And it's hard to argue that there isn't something special about holding a piece of physical media in your hands. It's a visceral experience. A chance to feel that surge of nostalgia from childhood walking the aisles of a video store and to make new memories. They don't just sell VHS tapes. It's all kind of media, past and present. That's all my VHS over there. And then back over here, I have like a horror section. That's like my sci-fi fantasy and adventure. I got children. But alas, the VHS are the main attraction here, particularly the campy, more bloody titles. Especially back then, there was a lot of pushback on that type of stuff, you know, Friday the 13th and Evil Dead. Some of them were like hard to find even then and or didn't get big production then. Some of the tapes come into the shop as part of somebody's old collection. Some Harrison has to venture out to find. Traveled all over the Midwest uh, for people that I've seen posted either on Craigslist or Facebook. Growing his business and spreading whatever magic can be found inside the plastic shell of a VHS tape. It brings people together, especially like, you know, when you're too young, you know, like th those memories of being scared of movies of Chucky and Jason and Freddy, like you remember those forever. And Harrison has been kicking around the idea of hosting screenings of old films and VHS tape swaps in and around his location at the Lakes Mall. For now, he is usually at the shop if you want to stop in.